Hey guys, welcome to my videos. So guys, recently there was a piece of news that was a buzz across social media. I did not make a video about it because I was trying to gather as much information I can before I really present it to you. So this was about an Air Canada flight that landed at Montreal airport on July 8 where 41 passengers were from India uh, holding Indian passport and one of them was a permanent resident rest were um, visitor visas. Now again, like before I proceed further, this I have got from various so sources across social media. I personally have not spoken to any of these travelers. So if you take anything out of this video, do it at your own risk. So guys, it has been alleged across uh, social media that uh, they were forced to apply for refugee. They were de being denied entry. So the very first point I would say, it's not about forced to uh, apply refugee they were offered to apply refugee status and this is not something the officers were uh, doing as per their choice this is as per the law if uh, like if you go like you have a visa okay for canada so that entitles you to travel but that does not entitle automatically your entry into canada a border officer is go gonna be determining when you come to canada that you can really come in or not now a lot of people complained about long questioning a lot of uh, additional questions unexpected questions so let me tell you one thing as an officer standing at the border they are allowed to ask you any questions they want okay they are allowed to check all your belongings even they can demand more if they really want to there is no such thing that they cannot so one thing is very clear like there's nothing to feel upset about it now i know some visitors who had traveled recently they entered and they were just cleared within minutes why i would tell you how now it varies case by case okay so when you apply a visa let's say visitor visa you fill the information you attach documents you show some financial assets you tell a purpose you tell a duration so all that is recorded and when an officer asks you questions about it, if whatever you tell doesn't meet with what they have in the system, that's where the problems come. That's where they uh, try to upgrade their investigation to find out the legitimacy of your application and your travel. Okay? So, if you are applying, I'm not telling you that you should not apply it through an immigration consultant. But if you are applying through an immigration consultant, you must be aware what has been applied in your case on your behalf okay so that you can answer confidently and accurately if you have done everything on your on your own definitely you know what document you have submitted what per duration what purpose have a re return ticket with you for sure if you are going to visit a relative have their information handy their phone number their address their status in canada and also a document of them that you can show to the officers it happened with my relatives when they were coming in we had to dispatch some documents but this check was done back in india itself so they did not have to provide this information again when they come to canada but you should have it ready uh, at all the time so that there is no problem when you uh, go there and uh, yes like return ticket you should have like you need to prove that you are a genuine visitor okay so return ticket where you're gonna stay if you are coming as a tourist so if you have booked any tour any tickets any hotels you should have a clear plan okay that what you're gonna do what you're gonna visit huh? how you're gonna do all that and one more important document i would suggest although not mandatory is having travel insurance if you have travel insurance taken from a canadian company that means you have health coverage this i'm telling especially for older travelers because chances are higher to seek medical uh, facilities in case of older travelers it happened it happened in my case also with one of my relatives needing urgent medical care so if you have all that like with you if you have all that with you you can like definitely convince the officer in a better way like you present your return ticket you present your medical travel insurance all other documents then that's gonna be very good case for uh, you to pass the immigration quickly that is what i would say 
now i don't have the capability to go into individual or uh, 40 cases that had experienced this issue as per the information on social media but that's fine like these are the general things and as i know somebody else came very quickly very smoothly that too on visitor visa so thanks for watching this video please subscribe to the channel